So your neck is almost done, and this studio is going to laser etch the fret markers. The etching is optional, uh, and you will need the written instructions to go with this. To start, your finish has to be on the neck, but your tuners should not be installed yet. Uh, turn on the laser cutter, and the switch is back here. And also turn on the upper switch, the exhaust blower, there. So that should be lighted, like that. And finally, turn on this fume hood switch, because our exhaust blower um, also uses that blower. Uh, you should see this fixture on the table, and that goes all the way to the back ruler and all the way to the right. So make sure it's all the way positioned into that upper right corner, or far right corner. Take your neck and uh, install it like that, and in particular, the nut slot uh, is aligned with those a that those pair of arrows. The arrows go in the middle of the slot. Okay, the autofocus buttons are there, the, the up-down. If you press them simultaneously, it's going to raise the table. And if you look to the right of the red laser head, you should see a little e uh, green LED, and that's going to flash to a different color there. Uh, that's the, uh, an another laser that detects the height. When you start up AutoCAD, you should see this window. On the left there are the three sets of fret markers you can choose from. And so this is called the star pattern. Uh, you can see there are a total of seven markers, but they're actually describing six positions. So you want to zoom and pan so all seven markers and six positions are shown on the screen and nothing else. So then you'll hit print and you'll set up the AutoCAD print dialog box. And I'd uh, say pause the video here because you'll need to go through three pages of written instructions to uh, send the AutoCAD print and set up the Trotec job control. And when that's sent over, you'll see it etch this pattern. So it's putting fret markers at positions 3, 5, 7, 9, 12. 12 is the octave, that's why it gets 2. And then there's one more down there at 15. Okay. Once the, you hear the beep, then you can open the lid and you can withdraw your neck and inspect the uh, quality of the etching. And you should see reasonably crisp lines, assuming it was in focus. repeat that for all of the necks in your group that have that pattern. And then we're going to move on to side markers, which I'd recommend because they're more useful when you play. So we'll slide the neck uh, on the fixture. Now we're going to use that little aluminum tab, and that goes in the nut slot. So line that up and then push all the way down so it's hitting the standoffs for the height. And here's a picture of that tab in the nut slot. As long as it's in the slot, that's fine. But um, you don't need, you don't want to have it positioned like that uh, or that. That would create a, a bit, some bad marks on your neck. So in the slot anywhere. So now it's very important that you don't autofocus because the focus sensor is not positioned to detect that side of the neck. And I've designed the fixture so the side of the neck is at the same height as the prior fretboard surface. Okay, now back in AutoCAD, we're going to rezoom onto the right upper corner where there are those five fret side markers. And so again, zoom in to see all five, but nothing else. And when you have that, you can hit print, and that'll bring up the dialog box. And once again, pause the video here. Go to page 7, and that'll instruct you how to send it over, and at which point you will do this. So, uh, fret markers on the side of the neck. These, as I mentioned, are, these are very useful for playing, because they're easier to see than the ones on the front. And so there's one basically for every of uh, the other ones, except for the last one that's on the body. Okay, now remove that and we'll move on to the headstock logo. So first we need to lower the table because this takes up more room. So go down um, a couple inches or so. Install that block and that goes in the uh, far left hand corner, again against the ruler guides. 
So be gentle with the honeycomb. And it goes on the inside of the ruler guides. Set your neck in. And we're going to fine tune the position of this. Well, at the tail end, that of course goes against the ruler guide as well, as you might guess. For this end, you see the pattern underneath. That's where the USD logo will go. And so since we have a variety of headstocks, you need to um, site where you want that to project through onto your veneer surface. So in my case, uh, this is a little shorter headstock than the template below. And so I'm putting my tuner hole actually uh, not with the tuner hole alignment mark. I'm putting it a little above to make a little more room for the logo in this shorter headstock. Okay, so you'll want to uh, check that a few times. Once again, uh, press autofocus, we'll raise the table, and again, that little light next to the red laser head will blink right there. That indicates it found the height. Uh, back in AutoCAD, we're going to resume to the lower right part of the screen. Here's that USD logo. And zoom for that, taking up the, whole, um, the screen, but nothing else. Go to the print window. Once again, um, you can go to pause the video here, and page 8 will talk about how to set that up in Trotec. Uh, you may want to do a test run. So for that, see how I set the power to 1%? Uh, and so I actually printed this at 1%, which was not enough power to mark the wood. But you can see then where the laser will go. So this is kind of like a dry run. So you may want to do this a few times. You could use 1% or 0 or a half percent. I think any of those would work. So um, when you're confident that you have it in the right place, then you can cut it and this is what I got, um, centered left and right and in the middle of the area. So remove the fixtures, turn off the blowers, the laser cutter, and continue with installing tuners.